I bet. So the scene opens up with Raph cosplaying as emo Batman. And I can't lie, the fit is extremely tough. I just know he'd be bumping Cardi while he's riding around on his motorcycle. Raph is trying to convince the store employee that he's a good guy because he just saved his life, which is true. But then someone throws a dagger or a shuriken or some shit at him to get his attention. The camera pans out and it's my goat Leo standing there four toes down because, you know, turtles only got four toes. They can't stand 10 toes down. Now, I ain't gonna lie. That's Aura right there. My fault, y'all. Sorry for the glare. So for context, at this point in the movie, Leo does not know his brother is the Night Watcher. So he's on demon timing trying to hunt bro down like he's craving the hunter. Raph sees my glorious King Leo and hits the dash and runs into an alley, but Leo throws four more of them kunai things just toying with him. Leo looks at bro the same way Rod Wave looks at an all-you-can-eat buffet, then does the most unnecessary wannabe Spider-Man superhero ass landing I've ever seen in my life. But I cannot lie, that shit was clean as a bitch. I ain't gonna lie, that shit was kind of cold. They're both running in the middle of traffic, and Raph is leaping from car to car. And I swear, Leo is doing his best Tarzan impersonation because he is swinging on these street cables like fucking jungle lines, bro. I don't know where the fuck Leo learned to do this shit from. Actually, no, I lied. Because in the beginning of the movie, he's like in the jungle in the rainforest in like Brazil or some shit. Okay, never mind. It makes complete sense now. Leo is so cold, he even got baddies coming to the jungle looking for his ass. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna need y'all to cue the music. Because I know y'all see April O'Neil sexy ass. I am usually not a fan of the white woman, but something about April O'Neil has been driving me crazy since I was about nine years old. I don't know what about her. Specifically, this iteration of April O'Neil, man. Let me know if y'all feel the same in the comments down below. Hey, look, and peep how my dog Leo catches Shorty right here, right now. Like, look, and then look at the face he gets Shorty, like, hey, you okay? And then look at her reaction, bro. She feeling my dog. I, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Leo is him. Oh my God. God, bro, is dick riding all you do? No, I'm like, saying you no. literally got that nigga dick in your mouth right now. I see it. If y'all think that was bad, y'all ain't seen nothing yet. I'ma chill though, I'ma chill though, I'ma calm down. Right here, I'm pretty sure Raph just killed this lady because she's about to get T-bone, no steak. She about to get done the worst way. Raph just sent this bitch to a pop smoke concert for free. The chase down continues, but on the roofs now, and these guys must have dexterity and double time equipped it in their loadout because they are hauling ass. So the game of Subway Surfer ends when Raph runs out of space and bro really debates jumping off that bitch. Like I get you don't want to get caught, but bro fall damage is a real thing you will blow out both of your knees like derrick rose so leo tells night watcher yo bro you need to get out of my hood because i run shit over here and if you don't i'm gonna have to put your ass on a t-shirt bro says i bet let's get it popping and drops a little ass wrecking ball and starts swinging that hoe on leo and misses every single time looking like javier Baez. like it's one thing to dodge somebody's attack with ease but it's another to talk shit while doing it bro me personally i would have not let that slide no after Raph is done being a hoe, trying to fight with weapons and shit, he decides to run a fair fade with bro, stray hands, and Leo is like, finally, maybe you could actually get a lick in. And I cannot lie, Leo is a top tier shit talker. I'm talking on Madara's level of shit talking, bro. So Raph decides oh to do the classic scream and punch oh, shit that literally oh, never works, oh, just to eat a spinning kick to the dome. And I know his ass started seeing stars after that. They continue boxing and Raph finally gets his first lick in. Bro is currently one for eight right now throwing up tour dates for his hit ratio and then continues to miss even more we're talking like one for 17 right now and the entire time leo is still talking crazy to raf awesome funny thing about anger let it consume you and soon enough you lose sight of everything that's called motherfucking bars nigga you know nothing about Nah, I can't lie, Leo. That was fucking cold. Hey, I know y'all gonna call me a dick rider. I do not care, Leo. Leo is so goddamn cold, bro. Like, how how do you come up with that shit off the dome while you're mid-fight with bro? Then pops up behind Raph, weaves a backhanded fist. We Leo had bro panicking, breaking his neck in every direction looking for him. I swear, Leo must have vanished into Obito's Kamui dimension because he completely disappeared and clicks down two on his controller for an insane <laughs> uppercut straight out of Mortal Kombat, bro. Raph is spinning 20 feet in the air like a Beyblade. And ladies and gentlemen, this 
this is a violation. Raph better be thanking God no one is here to see this fight. Because so far, the way this fight is going, he literally would have had to move to Kansas or something to fight crime over there because everybody in New York would have clowned him for the rest of his life. So after what feels like 30 seconds, Raph finally lands and his helmet flies off and lands right next to him. Leo walks up to bro on some, do not test my gangster, I'm really about that shit. But as he's talking, he realizes that whole time, Nightwatcher is his brother. Like Leo, you are supposed to either be the smartest or the second smartest out of all the turtles. Shout out Donnie nerd ass. And you couldn't tell this guy was a turtle? His helmet is the exact same shape as your head. He has three fingers just like you do. And he has a turtle shell silhouette back bling on with his fit. And it took you knocking his helmet off to realize that it was Raph. I get it's supposed to be like that for the plot, but I just don't believe that you're this fucking dumb. He sees it's Raph and his attitude completely changes, letting his guard down. Raph takes full advantage and hits bro with the sweet chin music on some snake shit. Like, nah, bro, you can't be doing that, bro. That's some pussy shit. Bro was mad he went two for 20 looking like Russell Westbrook on the Lakers. They start arguing and Raph's talking about, I don't want to be led. I'm better on my own. You can't box like me. If anyone should be in charge, it should be me. And Leo claps back by saying, You aren't ready. You're impatient and hot tempered. And more importantly, I'm better than you. Bro, I told y'all Leo's been talking crazy to Rav this entire time. I'm not gonna lie, Rav. Leo basically went Tupac hit him up on your ass. You gotta kill Leo after this shit. That was that that's insane, bro. He basically said, My trip better, my clothes fit better, my hoes better, my tattoos better. I'm stronger than you. They got my goat Leo feeling like he MJF on some I'm better than you and you know it type shit. So Rav decides to go full crash out and says, No, fuck that! And he draws his weapons on his brother. Like, wow, it's like that? I bet. So Leo draws his two swords and gets ready to fight. And I ain't gonna lie, they get to boxing. Looking like some Sasuke and Killer B shit. I ain't gonna lie, they cooking right now. After a quick little stare down, round two starts. And Rav charges at Leo with the intent to kill. Just look at how he tries to stab his literal blood brother in the head with his size like bro it is not that deep i promise you they keep fighting blocking each other's attacks and shit until leo hits a mean spinning back kick knocking the wind out of bro i don't like these and then tries to stab raf in the face like damn bro they really trying to put each other in a body bag that's crazy raf and leo come to a standstill with both weapons blocking each other and i don't know something about this shot in particular is telling me leo is holding back hear me out let me explain look at the difference in raf Raph's face versus Leo's face. One is clearly trying to send bro to the pearly gates and the other is not. Like literally look at Raph's face. He is on bad time, nigga, you are. I swear you would have thought Leo would have fucked Raph, bitch, for the way he acting right now. The whole time, Leo's just trying to defend himself from his raging lunatic of a fucking brother. All right, y'all, theory over. So the stare down continues, and what happens next is a complete and utter violation. Raph snaps Leo's swords in half like fucking twigs. Correction, this is a double violation. One for each sword. Leo must be thinking Master Splinter got his shit off the team, because there is no way this shit should have happened. Leo is in shock like Uncle Ruckus was when he found out he was 102% black. And Raph hits him with a two-piece combo, no biscuit, stabbing the ground right next to Leo's face, establishing his dominance. And I guess you could say Raph gets the win here. That Mickey Mouse ass win. Shit. Anyways, finally, the crash out Black Air Force energy demon that was possessing Raph's mind lets go. And he's ashamed at what he's done and decides to run away. Meanwhile, the Foot Clan hit Leo with a Bill Cosby dart, having my boy hearing colors and seeing sounds. Raph finally turns around after he hears Leo's cry for help, but it's too late. Bro tries chasing them, but his chase down artist is on bronze, and they get away, leaving Raph hitting this pose right here. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let me know what y'all want to see next. Follow me on Instagram, and yeah, later.